Hi guys, welcome you all to my channel Explore Edu TV. So today we are in the second class of random signal analysis that is introduction to probability and basic theorem. There is already a video uploaded on my YouTube channel in a random signal analysis playlist wherein we have spoken about the basic terminologies in this subject. So please go and watch it out. In this video, we will be talking about some basic theorem and about a basic numerical which is which was asked in the gate examination also. So please make a note of it. Please take these videos very seriously because they form the basis of this subject. You should be knowing the basic terminologies that I taught you in last class like what are mutual exclusive events, what are independent events, what is De Morgan's theorem, what do you mean by probability, what are the properties of probability. Because this will be used very frequently as we go ahead and get into the complex concept of this subject. So please take this subject very seriously. Take this videos very seriously. The notes are present down in the description box as well. Also, I have linked down my Instagram page, Explore Edit to Teach. You can follow me on Instagram as well. There are all summary videos, short notes as well as some descriptive and short pages of formulas and different kind of concepts uploaded on my Instagram page. It will be very helpful for you for your quick revision. So please check out the links in the description box. So let's begin with today's concept. We'll be talking about different theorems in this concept. And we'll be solving one numerical also on the same. So I hope I'm very clear. So let's begin up with the theorems. So the first theorem is the probability of an impossible event is zero okay so if i consider there is some you know impossible event the probability is going to be zero of it okay for example if i say i'm throwing a die and what is the probability of getting seven so you cannot get a seven right in a die you cannot get seven you can get zero one two three four five six you cannot get a seven hence the probability is going to be zero Therefore, the probability of an impossible event is 0. Hence, it is given in terms of expression as probability of 5, where 5 stands for impossible event as 0. Next, what is theorem 2? The theorem 2 is basically, if A bar is the complementary of event A, what do I mean to say is that if I have an event A and A bar is the complementary of that, then in that case, probability of A bar is equal to 1 minus probability of A. I repeat myself, if A bar is the complementary of event A, probability of A bar is equal to 1 minus probability of A. Because probability of A plus probability of A bar both gives you equal to 1. So, I can say the probability of A bar is given as 1 minus probability of A. Please make a note of this concept. It will be helpful for you. So, what I mean to say is that if in this entire sample space I have this as A, then of course the remaining space is going to be not of A. That is A bar. And hence, we have this formula P of A bar is given as 1 minus P of A. That is P of A plus P of A bar is equal to 1. The next theorem and the very important formula in probability. You have to remember this formula by heart. It is going to be used repeatedly. So please make a note of it. It says that I have already I guess taught about this particular formula in the last class also. Plus, But again make a note of it. It is going to be extremely helpful for you all. It says if A and B are any two events, then probability of A union B is equal to probability of A plus probability of B minus probability of A interception B. Now, how do I validate this particular formula from the pi diagram? Okay. So, what happens is that, sorry, from the set diagram, I am sorry. So, if you have probability of A union B, that is complete this is equal to probability of A which is given over here then I have probability of B which is a complete thing but if I take A and B two times this middle part gets repeated for two times and hence to 
avoid that another repetition i am giving minus of p of a intersection b just taking p of a and p of b will make this p of a intersection b that is this common part repeat twice so to just make it repeat once we have p of a intersection b hence we have p of a union b given as p of a plus p of b minus of p of a intersection b i hope i am very clear with this so now we have a numerical we'll try to understand this numerical and solve it basically this doesn't doesn't include any kind of formula but it include some logic and basic concepts of probability so let's try to understand the question says a and b alternately throw a pair of dice okay there are two people assuming a and b they are alternately throwing a pair of dice a wins if he throws six before b and b wins if he throws seven so what happens is that if a is starting first if a throws 6 then a is winning but if before a throws 6 my b throws 7 then b wins so you have to understand the concept there are two people a and b which are throwing basically a pair of dice in that a will win if a throws 6 before b and if b wins if b throws 7 before 6 so if a begins show that the chances of winning are 30 by 61 so what is so if a begins okay if a starts throwing the die first then b comes what is the probability of a to win is 30 by is 30 by 61 you need to prove that so let's try to first understand what is the probability of individual player winning so what is so when does a win a will win if he throws 6 so the probability of a winning is given as 5 by 36 so in a pair of die if you see there are total 36 sample space out of which the 6 value will come when n of a is equal to 5 so what i want to say is that if there are two people a and b and if a has to win then in that case the sum of two dies is equal to 6 so the number of possibilities in a pair of die is 5 for that and the total number of possibility for two die is 36 therefore the probability of a is given as 5 by 36 and if i want to know probability of a bar it is 1 minus 5 by 36 31 by 36 similarly what is the probability of b winning now b will win if you see if he throws 7 so what is the probability of throwing 7 again the total sample space is 36 because a two pair of die but the what is the probability of 7 coming it is 6 so this it is 6 by 36 it is 1 by 6 therefore the p of b bar is given as 1 minus 1 by 6 is 5 by 6 hence if i know the individual probability of winning of a and b the question says if a starts throwing the die first what's the probability that a will win so imagine in the first time a throws the die so the what is the probability of a winning is 5 by 36 so that's what i have written but imagine in the a throws the die and it is not able to get 6 in the first attempt which is the winning one then it will be p of a bar and p of a bar is given as 31 by 36 you cannot take p of b you have to take p of b bar only theek hai because b cannot win because the question says what is the probability of a only winning if he starts throwing the die so b bar is taken directly as 5 by 6 which is been shown over here then again there is p of a which is given as 5 by 36 in the third time we have a bar b bar in the third time oh, already a bar b bar is covered again a bar b bar is covered and now it's a third a so you have to just put the values accordingly just solve it mathematically and you will get the final answer as 30 by 61 
which is what we have to prove so first what you need to do is that you need to find out the individual probability of winning of a and b and then if a starts to throw first and b comes later what is the probability that a wins 30 by 61 so in the first attempt a will put the die and directly will get six value so this is a value it might happen that in first attempt a might not get six value so it's going to be a bar b always has to be taken in terms of bar only because b is not going to win according to the proof that we have or we need to do then we have p of a again so and so forth we have all these terms coming so just is is a normal mathematics if you know this you can solve this question so the notes are present on the description box uh, you can download it from there of course this basic formulas and everything are going to be written on a piece of paper and uploaded on my instagram page as well you can go and share it and save it from there because it will help you in your examination also so if you like this video do not forget to like share subscribe to my youtube channel follow me on instagram as well thank you so much guys god bless